Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you've ever downloaded an Android app from websites like APK Pure, APK Mirror, or any site other than the Google Play Store, you might have faced an installation error like this one, app not installed, or similar errors. In this video, I'll show you how to fix this problem easily. I've tried to cover all the major causes and their solutions, so follow me. First, try rebooting your phone. Rebooting helps restart any corrupted processes that might be running in the background. It's actually a good habit to reboot your phone once a day. It can fix issues like slowness, heating, battery drain, and more. Once you've rebooted, move on to the next methods. Next, check your storage from the settings. If have low storage, you might keep seeing the app not installed error. When your phone storage is low, installing new apps can fail. This usually happens because the device is overloaded with data. Make sure you have at least two gigabytes of free space on your internal storage. Insufficient storage can also cause system update failures or errors like Android process system isn't responding. Also keep in mind, the required space can vary depending on the APK size. Sometimes Google itself might block third-party installations. Here's what you can do. Open the Google Play Store and download an app called Hidden Settings. Then click on Manage Applications. This will open the app management setting, which is hidden by default on newer Android phones. Now search for Google Play Store and Google Play Services. Temporarily disable both apps. Don't worry, and we'll enable them again later. Now try installing your APK. After you're done installing, don't forget to re-enable the Google Play Store and services. Sometimes if an app won't install, it simply means the APK file is corrupted, especially if you downloaded it from outside the Play Store. To fix this, re-download the APK from a trusted source, or try installing it on a different device where the app isn't already installed, just to test if the file is fine. When installing or updating an app, the version code of the APK must either be higher than the installed version, or exactly the same. If it's not, you'll get the app not installed error. Sometimes, the app might already be installed on your phone under a different name than the one you downloaded. So, never judge by the name of the APK. Instead, always check the APK's package name. Compare the version and package name of the downloaded APK file with the installed one. Uninstall any older version of the app, and then try installing the new one. Speaking of signatures, the app's signature must match if you're updating it manually, to check the signatures, open Mixplorer File Manager app. Then tap once on the downloaded APK. Next check under Certificate. Now check the signature of the installed app in the same way. If the signatures don't match between the installed app and the new APK, Android will block the installation. Now let's check if the app is compatible with your Android version. To do this, open My Explorer File Manager, tap once on the APK, and you'll see the target Android version. For example, an app built for Android 16 may or may not work properly on Android 12. Also, make sure you're downloading the correct DPI version of the app for your device. Trusted sources like APK Pure and APK Mirror usually provide DPI information. 
try downloading and installing no DPI apps if possible. Another common issue is CPU architecture mismatch. First, find out your phone's CPU architecture. You can use any device info viewer app from the Play Store. Most modern phones support ARM v8, ARM v7, or ARM architectures. If you're using an Android emulator, you might see x86 architecture instead. To check the app's CPU support, open the APK using Mixplorer. Then, tap Explore. Next, open the lib folder. You'll see which CPU architectures are supported by this app. Newer phones mostly support RM v8, but older ones might not, so make sure they match. Or try to download Universal Architecture APK file, which works on all devices. Another reason for installation failure could be conflicting apps. These kinds of restrictions have been put in place sometimes by the company itself. It's impossible to install such apps on your phone, no matter what you do. For example, if you are using a Poco phone, you can never install the MIUI system launcher on it. If you are facing app not installed error, try install the app using ADB commands. To install apps on Android using ADB commands, first enable developer options by tapping on the build number of your phone multiple times. Once developer options are enabled, turn on the USB debugging settings inside developer options. These settings might vary depending on your phone, but make sure to enable all options related to USB debugging. Now connect your phone to your PC via a USB cable. Also make sure ADB drivers are installed on your computer. Then open CMD and type ADB devices. Your device ID should show up. Then type ADB install, add a space, and then simply drag and drop the APK file into the CMD window to install the app. You might see warnings during installation. These usually indicate that the app is not compatible with newer Android versions and may pose security risks. You can ignore these warnings if you know what you're doing, right? Using ADB, you can bypass most installation restrictions. Finally, if your device is rooted, you can install any app using root access. Open your root manager app. For me, that's Magisk. Next, grant root access to MI Explorer. Then simply install the APK through MI Explorer. Root access bypasses many of Android's restrictions, making the process much smoother. So that's all for today's video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Also feel free to leave any comments or questions below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.